Hello everyone, I'm Zeeshan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So we'll start with our next lesson and in this lesson we learn how we can add some edgeware to our model over here. So first thing uh, what I will do here is that I will move remove or uh, move all these towards other side. I will add a blend here and just for now I will add a uh, use blending node add and later on we can change if you want so now what i want here is the edge wear option here so i have here edge deck edge wear at speckle so i will use edge wear here okay and what does the edge wear need is a curvature and a mask so mask is optional but what we need is curvature so i'll use this curvature here now curvature needs normal. Now what I need to do here is that the edge edges that we want to use are the same edges that we used here for the like front part of the scratches. It goes back here. So I'll just click select this part, move it here. And Alt and go here. The normal, okay. So now this is what it is giving me in the normal part. And I go back here, and this is what I will get. The issue is that it does not have any sort of uh, uh, like what you call vents so we need to vents here what I'm going to do here is that let's see I don't want to use this one here but let's let's check how we let's remove this from here and Okay, I can use this one as a ma like a mask here, but I want to subtract these parts from the top. What I'm going to do here is I'll just go back here and wherever I have these parts like this, uh, which is the handle, then I have the lock, then the screw gauge, I will take all these and I will put them in one. Uh, blending node add okay. and then I will add one more put this one here and this out here and add now this a uh, node output I will take it and I will go back here and use a blending node okay. this should go in the top part and from here like which is the foreground and this blend the one that we have where we have all the other thing okay including the name tag i will use this here okay and in this blending mode i will use subtract so it will subtract these parts from the top okay because these are the one that i don't need uh what will left is this but it doesn't matter because it's just like outline for um handle lock and lock dodge it it won't matter because it will not show on my uh, sp space over here so that's fine with it and one more thing i have to remove from it is this uh name tags paper part so what i'm going to do here is paper part is here coming down I will make a 
another uh blending node here okay bring it here so this blending node includes let's use add here so we can see this blending node includes uh, all these three parts from the top like the lock uh, like the handle lock and lock gauge i have to add now this paper part to it where it is yeah this one i have to add it here as well so what i will do go to this connector which is already there press alt click it here and then add already it is added so you can see this part is now also included now if i will go to this blend it is subtracted here so now this is what we need to plug it in side our oops inside our curvature yeah basically not the curvature let's see this should be inside uh, in uh normal so I will add a normal map here in between. Here we go. So this is how the normal will look like. And this is how it should be. And this is how the edge wear will be. Okay. Now mask is optional here. So let's use a mask so we can at least get rid of these in case uh, like they won't affect but just in case so i have this part here where it is going over here from here what we can do is that i can press alt take this part from here alt here all the way here alt and use it okay so it will use only these parts uh for the edge wear and it won't use any other part And yeah, one thing we are missing here is the rivets. Okay. What we can do here is that we have to add rivets to this as well. Here I will add a blend node. Go to this rivets part. Alt, Alt here, Alt here, then add here, add. So now the reverts are added as well. Okay, good. Now what we need here is take the mask from here, okay, and just for now we will add the mask. But as a subtract. Okay. And I will add a level to it and reduce the level to extremely low value. Just I want to give a gap here for the edgeware. Okay, so edgeware is working perfectly fine here. Uh, when we'll add some colors to the edgeware, there we will fix properties of the edge but just for now we will just add it here for sake of little uh, depth so 0 0.01 i will keep the value here okay and maybe a little bit more like a little bit more yes sir okay 
okay so 0 0.05 i will keep it for the subtraction for the depth but for color we will we don't like we won't change the levels here because we will take directly the edge wear from uh, from here for the albedo let's change a little bit more just to see yeah because here you can see it is breaking but that's not what we want so let's see which is the best value which won't affect that area so 0 0.6 is better but it's kind of breaking a bit there so 0 0.05 i will use so 0 0.05 good we'll use that for the edgeware we have edgeware everywhere except for the part that we don't want is creating the edge wear here as well now what we need to do at this stage is go back here okay. and yeah take this part from here alt and use it in the opacity it won't affect this uh the inner part the paper part of the name tag because that is excluded everywhere else it will show okay so we are done with edgeware so you have noticed that how these pre-made uh like not pre-made uh and like the mask that we made in advance helped us to create uh, this edge wear. So we already had it, so we just have to drag and drop and then add it to our little bit more calculations. The masking, making mask is little, uh, is uh, like is very helpful. So you should know which mask should work, uh, like work or should work uh, like better. And keep in mind as much you can make your work procedural it will be easier for you okay instead of copy pasting use the existing uh like nodes so that if you change the original one anything that uh, which is associated to it will change so that i believe is the best part here okay and uh, keep a uh, like like uh, keep everything procedural so you won't have any issues and also keep everything neat and clean okay so i'll just do this cleanup here it won't make any issue all these for now and put them in one row then here That's all. So I have saved it. Okay. And no need to go back all the way. If you can have, if you already have made a connection, you can just press Alt on it and make a small connector. And out of this connector, you can make as many other connectors you want. So it will save your time and it will save the space here. And we have here now our edgeware. I will select this, add a frame to it, and I will call it this edgeware. So this time I use the edgeware instead of metal edgeware because edgeware uh, like edgeware will be uh, is I feel like because I want to shoot, demonstrate edgeware also because already a uh, metal edgeware we have used now uh, how we can use the edgeware that's something new which I want uh, I teach you so I hope you have learned something from this lesson so thank you all for joining this. Uh, this lesson and i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and i hope to receive your support continuously 
I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet. So please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents I will be uploading soon. If you have liked my video, so please hit the like button. And if you have any queries or questions, then leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And one request I have, and that is I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them. So please, if anyone is doing that, and you find someone doing this then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me so i don't want to stop making tutorials for you all therefore help me to get new subscribers i will take off now and take care guys till we meet in the next class stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute there's one important announcement i would like to make i have started three great membership plans on my channel I have introduced ZDive Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDive Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDive Premium plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials which you will find it very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with Simple Geometry to create a realistic, smashed up retro television.